Hello again, everybody. This is Mark. I'm here today to show you how to replace the hard drive in a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop computer. So I've got the computer. I've had it for a couple of years. It works just fine, but the uh, original hard drive that came in it is only 256 gigabytes. So I wanted to upgrade it to a uh, one terabyte and it has an NVMe hard drive in it. So this will be the first time I've worked with uh, the NVMe type hard drives before. So be a learning experience for me as well, but I've got this uh, Western Digital one terabyte uh, hard drive. Again, it's an NVMe, and I'm going to uh, again replace that original SK Hynix 256k or 256 gigabyte hard drive that's uh, currently in the computer to give me more storage space. So again, I don't have any issues with the computer; it runs just fine, runs fast enough, but uh, again, just short on memory. So. With all that being said, let's get started. Okay, so here is the laptop itself. Again, this is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 computer laptop. And before I get started on this, disassembling it, I just wanted to let everybody know that I've already cloned the hard drive. And uh, I'm not going to get into the software bits of all that. There's plenty of good videos out there on how to clone a hard drive. But again, before I had... Uh, taking this project on, I did not have this enclosure, this adapter, which allows you to put that NVMe hard drive in here and then hook it up to the laptop via the USB port. So it's got the, the connector here and then a, a regular USB. It came with a USB-C to USB-C cable as well, but I do not have a USB-C outlet on this laptop. So I use this configuration, but again, this just uh, pops out here and just to show you, the hard drive itself goes inside of here, and that allows you to connect it to the computer and do the cloning process. So, again, if you're uh, new to doing this type of thing, and uh, again, this is my first time working with a uh, NVMe hard drive set, so I had to invest 20 bucks in this. Got it on Amazon from a company called SSK, and uh, again, it worked just fine for the cloning process. So, uh, once everything's over with, I can actually take this and use it to. Uh, create an external hard drive too with the old hard drive that I'm going to pull out of the laptop, but I'll do that at a later point. So again, uh, not going to get into the cloning and all the software issues um, that go along with this, but just focus mainly on the hardware and how to change out the hard drive and the computer itself. Okay, so I'm ready to get started disassembling this laptop and to start off, I got it upside down. Obviously, this is the bottom of the laptop. You see there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws here across what's the back of the laptop in the middle. And then I'll spin this around. And you can see there are four more screws here in the front of the laptop. So I'm going to use this micro tip Phillips screwdriver and take these 10 screws out to uh, pull the bottom of this laptop off. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching me do uh, 10 screws and unscrewing them. So uh, I will start that process and then get back to you when the last two are uh, ready to be unscrewed. Okay, so I've got eight of these 10 screws undone and I saved these last two right here just to show you that they are different sizes. And I'm gonna unscrew this, which is, this is the middle of the laptop here. And again, this is the front of the laptop. And again, I just wanted to show you that, hopefully you can see that, but the difference in sizes here, all the six screws that go across the middle and the back of the laptop are these longer screws. And then there are four smaller or uh, shorter screws that go across the front of the laptop. Again, what is the front bottom of the laptop? So again, just be aware of that when you're replacing these screws, which screws go where. So uh, once I get this, uh, get ready to disassemble the bottom of this laptop, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm ready to take the bottom part of this laptop off. And uh, to do that, I'm going to be using, again, what I 
love to use uh, to work on these kind of things, a guitar pick. Uh, you can use something similar, a spudger or something of that nature. But again, I definitely would not recommend using something metal to, to scratch up all the plastic siding here. So again, I'm going to get started with this guitar pick. And I usually like to start in the corner, so I'm going to go right here. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And start in this back corner. And just put this guitar pick in and start prying this up. And you'll hear it pop, but and then I can use my thumb to hold it up a little bit while I pry. And again. Go all around the edges here. Sometimes I turn this guitar pick around or I get the thicker part in the back to pry this up when it gets a little bit more difficult to pry up. And that should do it. So you now we got the back part. I'm going to lay this aside back here, or the bottom part, I should say. And we'll lay this aside back here. And here's the inside of this laptop, the motherboard. And the current hard drive sits right here. Now, this is a, a, a small format NVMe hard drive. So, I mean, it's smaller than what I'm going to be replacing it with. And just to show you. I'll grab this new hard drive and again you can see the difference in size here I'll try and grab it from this angle you can see the difference in size here so that'll mean i'll have to uh, make some changes here but again this is uh, much on what it's going to be replaced in this western digital hard drive will take the place of this sk hynix so to start that process uh, you'll see there's a screw right here that holds this down and I'm basically just going to unscrew this. And take that screw and set it aside where I don't lose it. And you'll notice that hard drive pops right up. And I will just gently grab this and work it out. And there, this is the old hard drive right here. And again, I'm going to set this aside. Okay, so now that I've got that hard drive out, there is a little nut here. And you'll notice there's another set of, or another hole here. So this set of holes uh, may, allows you to put different sizes of the hard drives in there. But this little nut is what that uh, hard drive screw goes into to hold it down to the motherboard. So I'm going to see if I can get this out by hand. And the answer is no. So just on standby, I have this pair of small needle nose pliers. I'm just going to see if I can loosen this, these pliers, and then finish, yep, finish this off, unscrewing it by hand, or by fingers, I should say. And then I'm going to take this and put it right back in this back slot. Again, this is hard to do with my fat fingers, so I apologize for that, but screws right in here like so. I'm going to get it as tight as I can by hand, and that should be good enough. And then we are ready to place the new hard drive in. So again, here is the new Western Digital hard drive. And again, I'm going to put this in this slot right here. And it only goes one way. You can see the, the little gap in there. And that lines up, again, only one way you can put this in. So it lines up with the gap on the uh, port here. 
And then I'm going to slide this in. And again, you'll notice this is going to sit up at an angle, but you'll slide it in until there is no more of the uh, gold piece showing on the end of the hard drive. And now that I have this in place, I'm just going to push this side down. And then hopefully you can see this well enough, but I'm going to replace this screw. And hopefully I can get it on the first shot. Again, just screw this down to the motherboard and it doesn't need to be super tight, but again, just hold it in place. And I'm going to again, just touch it here and make sure everything's firm and in place and it appears to be. So that is the actual hard drive replacement itself. Now you'll notice over here, there is a bay. If you wanted to put a two and a half inch drive in here, I suppose you could put one in here and just to point it out, there's the RAM slot that goes right here. If you ever wanted to upgrade or change out the RAM. So again, that's kind of the, uh, the inside of this laptop, but uh, I'll get right back to you and start uh, reinstalling the uh, bottom of the laptop. Okay, so we're ready to reapply the bottom of this laptop. And basically, I'm just going to flip this over and then line it up and just start pressing all around the edges here. And I'll start here in this front corner. Just use my thumbs to press this down. And you'll feel the snapping as it goes into place. Let's start up here. Okay, so now before I read install all the screws i'm going to go ahead and make sure this is sturdy enough and everything feels flush but i'm not going to do that yet i'm going to turn this over and make sure that this thing actually boots up and starts correctly so uh, once i get a little bit better i'm going to adjust the camera here to where i can get maybe a better shot of the screen but once i do that i'm going to lift this lid and turn this laptop on and see if it boots up correctly Okay, so I've got this camera adjusted to where you can get a better view of the laptop, and I'm actually going to open this up and make sure this thing boots up correctly. And you can see it's turning on. And yeah, it does appear to be booting up correctly. So after I finish entering my uh, credentials, I'll turn this back on and get back to you. Okay, so the laptop is on now and uh, everything appears to be working beautifully. I played around with some of the programs, made sure all the documents are there that were supposed to be there and uh, all the programs open and close correctly. Uh, all the micro, especially the uh, Microsoft stuff where you have to do the licensing. So all that stuff opens up just fine. I will point out that I did use uh, Macrium Reflect the free trial version to do the hard drive cloning and it appears to work beautifully. So before I shut this down, I just wanted to go over here and check. I'm going to right click on this start button here and go to disk management and maximize this. And you can see there's all the free space, so almost a terabyte of free space. Uh, all the partitions seem to be great. So uh, again, the macro reflect uh, cloning process seems to have worked just fabulously. So uh, having shown all that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut this down and then flip this back over and reinstall those screws. Okay, so I've got this laptop flipped back over and here's the bottom again, but again, I'm just going to, again, I'm not going to bore you with installing all these screws, but again, I'm just going to show you that I'm going to take this middle slot here and again, just reinstall these screws one by one. And again, the longer ones go in these six holes, both in the middle and the back. And I'm going to take one of these sh shorter screws and just show you. Again, how this goes back in here in the front of the laptop. And I'm just going to pick this hole and go with that one. 
But again, nice and easy. So uh, I'll get back to you and sign off once all these uh, screws have been reinstalled. Okay, to finish up here, the laptop, uh, again, all appears to be working beautifully on it. So uh, no issues there so far. And uh, again, this was my first time working with these NVMe drives. So glad everything went successfully. But uh, if this video was of help to you and you enjoyed it, certainly send some likes my way. And I will see you on the next project. And thanks so much again for watching.